Good morning. Our opening hymn is found in Gather, number 649, You Are Mine. Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. As we've gathered together to pray for the repose of the soul of our brother Jack, let us now in the secret of our own hearts give thanks to God for his life and for his mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you fill us with new life in the Spirit. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the ending of present things open up the beginning of things to come, grant, we pray, that the soul of your servant John may be led by you to attain the inheritance of eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. I shall to please be seated for the readings. A reading from the book of Revelation. And I, John, heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this. 
Blessed are the dead who from now on die in the Lord. Yes, said the Spirit, they will rest from their labors, for their deeds follow them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the first letter of St. John or St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, so that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus Christ died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will by no means precede those who have died. For the Lord himself, with a cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of God's trumpet, will descend from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. He continued, All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. There's always so much more to a man than meets the eye. Um, the first one that struck me was that Jack is John. <laughs> um, and it, Jack seems appropriate, but when I had to do the opening prayer, I got to use his baptismal name, and I snuck that in. But there's always so much more. And one of the things that struck me so much about Jack in the end of his years is that he lived today's gospel on two ends. Um, you can see in the picture in the back of the program, a man, a man, you know, <laughs> man's man, um, wears his uniform, wears it well, wears it with pride, and then you just use your imagination or you could use your memory. He's also a big guy. <laughs> and big guys have to learn gentleness in a way that smaller guys don't. Um, because the physical stature, you have to be very aware that your strength might be something unknown to you. So you have to be much more conscious, much more aware of the necessity of being gentle. And then it also worked on the other side in being gentle with Jack as he got older in years. I remember, I think once or twice, helping Grace get him into the car when he was in wheelchair. And Sometimes I wished he was a smaller lady. When, when it came time for the transfer, I was like, oh man, this guy's big. Grace, how do you do this? <laughs> um, and that his stature made it such an interesting thing, but he was, in that moment, like a child. Thank you. And we hear today's gospel. It is a challenging gospel when you sit down and think of it. How hard is it to be like a child to enter the kingdom of heaven? How, is it, how hard is it to be like a child to know and to really experience and to see the face of God? Well, it's in those moments that we realize how significant it is that God came to us. Um, C.S. Lewis, who was also called Jack by his friends, by the way, um, he said, if you want to think about how significant it is that God would become human, it would be like you thinking about what it would be like to be a slug or a microbe. <laughs> um, to have that humility, to want to be able to take the lowest place in order to love authentically. And Jack loved God, knew his weakness, and I forget the exact word, that he was constantly saying grace when we were praying for him together. It was up, up above, up above, up above, up above, up above, up above. Well, brother, up above we commend you. I invite you to stand and to join with me in prayer. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voice of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. In baptism, Jack, receive the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead him over the waters of death. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our brother Jack was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome him to the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. 
Grant them an everlasting home with your Son. Lord, in your mercy. Many friends and many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer unjustly these sins against your love, and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. Lord, in your mercy. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. The family and friends of Jack see comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that can come from grief. Lord, in your mercy. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our brother. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, in your mercy. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Number 874 in Gather, Precious Lord, Take My Hand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servant John may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make us an eternal offering to you so we attain inheritance with your elect especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, and all the saints of constant intercession, we reply for unfailing help. May this sacrifice and reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, Gary, our Bishop, your other bishops, and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. 
In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant John, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ, give me the sacred For Holy Communion, you can just come to the front and to the base of the sanctuary here and you can receive in the usual way. If you're not Catholic or not prepared for communion, you can just come forward with your arms across the chest if you'd like a blessing. And if you don't want to come forward at all, you can also just stay in your pew. Number 851 in Gather, I Receive the Living God.
please rise. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your servant John, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we go our separate ways, let us now take leave of our brother. May our last farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope, for one day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. In baptism, Jack shared in the death and resurrection of Christ, may he be welcomed into the glory of eternal life, and as a sign of respect for our brother, we will let this incense rise to God, who has called him to share in his glory. May songs of the angels welcome you and guide you along your way. May the smiles of the martyrs greet your home as darkness turns into day. Every tear will be undone and death will be songs of the angels bring you me for the face of God. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother. In the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the many blessings which you bestowed upon Jack in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and our brother forever. Amen. My dear friends, may every mark of affection and every gesture of friendship that you give to each other be a sign of Christ's peace for you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. At the conclusion of the closing hymn, you can just go straight down the hall, down the stairs for the reception and eulogies to follow afterwards. Our closing hymn is in Gather, number 602, Though the Mountains May Fall, 